Hey guys, in this video, I'm showing you a bunch of different ways Dream could beat the Hunters in Minecraft Manhunt. Now, this is part four, so if you guys haven't seen parts one, two, or three, make sure you go check them out. And also, it turns out 83% of you guys are not subscribed, so please, just, just go subscribe. And with all of that said, enjoy the video. Okay, so for the first trick, um, it's kind of an interesting one. If Dream ever goes to a coral reef, he could just, like, pick up a puffer fish, maybe. You know, if you put this down, like, underneath you while you're running, um, <laughs> it'll probably do some damage. Um, if you didn't know, puffer fish do a ton of damage. So this is what it would look like if I was in, like, survival. Like, say I was, like, running, and then someone above, like, in front of me places a water. I'm like, oh, yeah. And it gives you poison. Like, it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but you'll obviously back off. It'll create more time for you than than just a normal water bucket would so yeah okay so this uh this next trick it's 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 not that crazy but you know if you ha if you ever have like a water bottle and you're being chased just like stop and drink it like what if they're chasing you just like be like this and they'll be like oh my god he's drinking a potion he's drinking a potion they're obviously gonna notice that you don't have particles on so so like they'll they'll back off and they'll be like oh wait he doesn't have particles so you might as well just run there's no point in like chasing them uh, next trick, when you're mining a bunch of these, um, cause you have to for the piglins, um, you know, if you have any extra gold, make, make golden apples. Okay, so this next one involves a desert temple, which I think I saw one, yeah, right there. You, just, just make a trap chest, alright? And then basically what you want to do is, one of these blocks or so, just mine down, um, right until you see this cut sandstone right here. Um, or I mean, you could mine this, doesn't really matter. But then, what you want to do is replace one of these chests, just break it, and then come down underneath it, take this TNT, and place it over here. Then place this block back, place your trap chest here, and when you open it, yeah, it... Yeah. So basically, once you're done in here, you're just gonna wanna block it back up, so that it looks like no one's been in here, and then when they drop down, they'll be like, oh, free stuff, and then they open the last chest or whatever, and it just all blows up. Okay, so for this next trick, um, if you have been trading with piglins, and you have a bunch of, like, extra glowstone, this can be really useful. So, you're obviously probably gonna have a bow and arrows, I, I, you might, if you do. If you have arrows, and you're, you're, you're like, running low, you can double your arrows, essentially. By just placing four glowstone like this, and then one arrow in here, you get two spectral arrows. Now, spectral arrows, they're literally the same thing. It, it's the same thing, except it makes them glow. It's not going to change anything for you, so might, <laughs> might as well. It basically just doubles your arrows, so if you have leftover glowstone from the piglins, so yeah. Okay, so this next trick was actually suggested to me in the comments, but what it said is basically you can place a block on tall grass, and it'll just float above so like what i was thinking like like this you see these two pieces of tall grass this is what you could do you run up and then like that you know what i'm saying so like these blocks are literally floated it'll obviously confuse them a little bit but also it just gets you up higher for an advantage so like if you're about to tower up just like jump on to like a few grass blocks like you can kind of spot them like right here there's two i kind of messed up my jump because it's chicken but if you, like, come, like, here, and you just tower up and stuff, it it could work pretty well. You never know. Okay, so this trick, I really don't understand what you would use this for, but it could be useful, I guess. If you need to, like, tower out of, a like, a lake. Like, if you're in, like, a lake. Basically, you place a lily pad, or if there already is one, and then, when you're on it, just jump and click both mouse buttons at the same exact time. It'll replace the lily pad. Now, it, you might just be like, yeah, you can only do that in creative. I'll literally go in survival to show you this. What? How? Okay. Um, so now, I'm in survival. Boom. Now you, you, you just got a floating block. I don't know how you would use this if you need to, like, maybe tower out. I don't know. But I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Okay, so this next trick involves you going to the end. And, um, it, you just have to be there before the hunters. So, so yeah. Um... All you have to do, dig a couple blocks into the wall, or if you spawned out, you can just bridge out a little bit. Um, place a bed. Place a block. And, I mean, you, could, you should probably clear this out a little more so the blast does more damage. But, you know, if you have something like, maybe like this, 
and then you're sitting here like that when they spawn in boom kill all of them every single one of them so you could just trap the uh the obsidian with beds um just wait for them to spawn in i would wait like a second after you see their name because it does take some time to like render in so yeah moving on to the next trick all right so this next trick is really easy all you need is a bunch of scaffolding and if you go through a jungle it's really not that hard to get so all you want to do is kind of have like this this setup here with this part going over a ledge and now when you break this scaffolding you just want to place one on top of this i have to <coughs> what the hell no. so when you break this scaffolding uh what was that holy shit i like coughed and then snow what the fuck anyway so when you i lost my train of thought oh uh, okay um, all right so when you break this scaff oh my god i have to sneeze again okay i think i'm good so when you break this scaffolding you want to place one on top so you break this and place one up now you can climb on top of this walk forward one then I, I usually go inside you don't technically have to i like going inside it just i don't even know but now you can just kind of walk forward and place scaffolding as you go so as you can see i am losing scaffolding but if you go into your inventory and just click on it it goes back up so basically you're gonna have to stop every once in a while but whenever you click on it it just goes back up to 64 or however many you had so you can technically go forever you'll just have to make like little pit stops i guess so like if you're like over a lava pool oh i did i thought i was in creative mode um so if you're like over a lava pool you can uh, kind of bridge over if you if you will um and yeah the, the hunters obviously can't follow you just watch out if they have bows they can kind of destroy you so yeah moving on to the last and in my opinion best trick okay now this doesn't have the greatest advantage i'd say but it's just really cool um so yeah for this one you're gonna need a lot of glass panes um i'd say you don't need that many you just need like i don't know 30 or so and they're really not that hard to get i think you can get 32 glass panes with literally 12 glass or something so yeah it's, it's not that hard so basically if you're in like the middle of a field or honestly wherever and you're trying to tower up use glass panes instead of like blocks because it, it doesn't provide the greatest advantage but just just look how like like it would be so confusing when you're towering up with glass panes like I don't know if you know this, but in Minecraft 1. I don't even remember what which one. They changed the glass texture to make it more clean, but glass panes are invisible. Like what? Just <laughs> literally it's like like ready if I if I like tower up kind of high, right? And I place let's say a creeper on top of this glass pane what the hell you would you wouldn't know you you wouldn't you wouldn't know you like it would be so confusing so literally if i was just standing on top of this i it literally looks like i'm floating like it looks like i'm in creative mode right now like what and, and the, it's so hard to see the glass part of it because the only two things that show is this literally one pixel well four i should say one two three four pixels and up here literally can't even see it but there's another four pixels you literally can see eight pixels max like it's gonna it, it'll just be so confusing it'll just be funny i guess it wouldn't really make much of a difference unless you go really high and like they can't even see you like if you go like up to whatever y level like however high you can go like max build height they'll be so confused it it's just broken i mean it's not broken it's just i don't know there's just <laughs> it's just weird it's, it's just weird i don't know i like it all right guys that's the end of the video if you enjoyed please leave a like and you know if you want to you should totally uh you should totally subscribe so yeah uh have a good rest of your day i guess um yeah bye